Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Nelly Idu, and today is April 21st, uh, 2022. I am here to tell us a little about the truth about the A-29 Toscano air fighter jet supplied to Nigeria and the need for us to rise up and defend ourselves. Before I proceed, I wish to inform all these Igbo Caliphate proponents that our freedom is not an Igbo affair and we have crossed the Rubicon. Two, that we are talking about our freedom as an independent nation and nothing else. Three, that we have passed the stage of complaining about bad governance. Four, that we have passed the stage of leave and let leave. Five, that we do not wish to accommodate killers in our land and we are not asking killers to accommodate us. Six, that we are not beggars. We are not crippled. We can defend our land and our conversation should be how to rise up and defend our land and not how to beg for other humans like ourselves to run to our aid. Enough of this nonsense. Now, let me get to my main topic. Nigeria received 12 A-29 Toscano air fighter jets on July 22, 2021 with provisions not to use in the southern Nigeria or not to be used to target civilians anywhere in the country. This agreement was breached despite the screams and cries of human rights group in the U.S. and in Nigeria. Nigeria's Air Force has flaunted all U.S. laws guiding this military assistant by bombarding civilians and civilian targets in Idu land and other parts of northern Nigeria. Our leader, Mazin Nandikan, raised alarm on Radio Biafra for the U.S. not to deliver these fighter jets to Nigeria, which, as you know, was held back during President Trump's administration and released during Biden's administration. Senator Patrick Lay, the current U.S. president, temporary of the Senate from the state of Vermont, who was elected in 1974, is the author of the Leahy's Amendment. This amendment prohibits the use the U.S. Department of State and Department of Defense from giving military assistance to military units of countries that systematically commit human rights abuses on their citizens. The current U.S. administration, Antony Blinken, the current Secretary of State, a caliphate-friendly administration. I said they are caliphate-friendly administration. That in 2015, this administration helped bring Buhari to power using Axelrod, a former President Obama's campaign manager. This Biden administration is a Muslim-friendly administration. I repeat, this Biden administration is a Muslim-friendly administration, as evidenced by their prompt lifting and removal of Nigeria from classification as a country of concern in prosecution of Christians early this year by U.S. Secretary of State, despite outrage by human rights groups all over the world. It, it should be noted that the U.S. defense contractors and defense industries are independent, profit-seeking industries who live by selling their weapons to willing buyers. We have to understand that these people are out to sell their weapons and make money. One can argue that the U.S. government exercises oversight over them. But everyone should appreciate the fact that the defense industry, industrial complex are one of the ones who sponsor these politicians 
and lawmakers into political offices. So there is need to realize the limitations of this sponsorship. So there is need to realize the limitation that this sponsorship imposes on these lawmakers. We also have to realize the limitations of our tweets and petitions. My people, it is time to rise up, chase our enemies out of our land, defend our lives, our land, our dignity, and uphold our freedom. Freedom is not free. Freedom is taken and not given. And we can no longer afford to be prisoners in our own land. The only real prison is fear. And the only real freedom is freedom from fear. Enough is enough. Let us rise up now. Let us rise up and defend our land. Let us rise up. And defend our life let us rise up and defend our dignity let us rise up and defend our, our freedom let us rise up for generations to come thank you all and god bless you yes wonderful people of biafra and lovers of freedom worldwide you have heard it i will not talk much i just want to advise our people wherever you are once you come across this very record please endeavor to share it worldwide put this very record everywhere i want to advise our people and those of you that love freedom and hate genocide that is being committed by nigerian government against the innocent citizens in nigeria nationwide or should i say countrywide because there is no nation once you come across this very record if you can download it download it and share it to all over whatsapp groups put this very record on twitter put it on social media all over the places share it on facebook youtube everywhere even on instagram if possible so that this very all important record we get to the american government for them to understand that the only reason why nigerian government is buying arms from america is only to use it against the innocent citizens especially those of us from biafra land they must ask nigerian government the super tucano you purchased from america have you used it to you know fight the terrorists in the north give us the you know the evidence give us the record of how you have used the super tucano we have to let american government understand that on the 21st of april nigerian air force officially used the same super tucano jet to bomb 11 school children in the northern nigeria and they claim it was a mistake they said it was a mistake they bombed christian school children in the northern nigeria on the 21st of april and the newspaper said it was a mistake nigerian air force mistakenly bombed 11 school children what kind of mistake is that what kind of error is that these are christian school children in the north we must let america understand that the sole target of nigerian government led by fulani caliphate is only to islamize nigeria and whatever it takes they are going to do it if it takes them using the official Nigerian army to, to accomplish this very goal, they are ready to do it. They have positioned all the Fulani terror sponsors as the heads of all the government parastatals in Nigeria, including the security apparatus. This is something we must raise a very serious alarm and make sure that this message gets to America for them to understand the danger ahead. And if this thing happens, if they go ahead to sell the weapons to Nigeria, once they start this jihadist war, America cannot control the huge uh, uh, ref refugees that will migrate from Nigeria to United States of America. So it poses a great danger to the entire world. Nigeria has no less than 250 million population. And these very jihadist 
war against the Christians and other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria cannot be allowed or else the whole world will fail the consequences. Everybody, the time for you to play your role is now. Thank you, my people. Share this very news and make it go viral.